At the time of recording this video, there are approximately 724 one six scale companies producing their own version of the Vulture. And now Hot Toys is doing one too. Let's get started. Hi everyone, welcome to One Six Figure Focus and in this video we're going to talk about the fact that Hot Toys actually did it. They actually went ahead and teased a photo of their One Six scale vulture from Spider-Man Homecoming. Um, they have done this before, they've actually made a prototype, it was on one of the conventions years and years ago. So this is the official fully licensed Hot Toys version. Just going to give you a very quick overview of the lie of the land. Yeah, there's not 724 companies. There are three other companies that are doing this at the moment. Hot Toys makes it four. Now we're talking one six scale. I know that there's Marvel Legends and stuff like that, but we're going to stay in our lane here. So, Jazz Inc. Uh, came out and released their own one. They call it the Iron Scavenger. Quick look at it here. It's about $725. It's a true one six scale. Um, you know, it doesn't have a head sculpt, it doesn't have the gun, but uh, a lot of people say have it and they say it's amazing. Now, it does have some sort of rods that hold these wings up. The thing is huge, okay? Now, about a week or two ago, maybe two weeks ago, two other companies randomly, it, it seemed random, but I don't think it was. It, it's too much of a coincidence. They must have got wind that um, Hot Toys were doing this and decided to beat them to the punch or I don't know, maybe it's the other way around. Maybe these two companies just coincide. It, it seems too much of a coincidence that on the same like day, these two other third party companies uh, came out and said they were gonna make this Vulture. It's weird considering the, the film's like five years old. So this is $300, this is from Toys Era. And again, the wings are significantly smaller here. I think Toys Era came out and said, we heard you, we're actually gonna make them bigger as well, something like that. And then you have Eternal Toys, and this is about $200, anyway. So, to be honest, um, yeah, I've no interest in the Toy Zero one or the Eternal Toys one. Um, not that because they're third parties. I have two fantastic third parties that I think are actually greater, better than their Hot Toys officially licensed counterparts. Uh, just in case you're wondering, a third party is a company that basically is producing a figure without the license. They don't have the rights, hence they don't call it like the Vulture or something like that. So like if they were making an Iron Man, they would call him, I don't know, titanium man or something like that because they, they don't have the rights to use the um the actual official names so that's it why hence the term iron scavenger for jazz ink and stuff like that because they don't have they're not licensed now for me the what well, I, I i'd always gravitate towards the licensed one because the quality is better it's that simple however from time to time there are third parties which i do believe are better than their hot toys counterpoint case in point I think the um, Daft Toys Bane kit paired with a, a Fison, I think it's an M35 body, looks better than the skinny uh, Hot Toys Bane. But anyway, that's just my opinion, it's all subjective. But for this one here, Hot Toys this morning on their Instagram and their Facebook just teased this photo and it was enough for people to go into a bit of a hoopla and um, they had a little caption basically it said, yeah, we're making the Vulture, it's gonna be complete with one six scale wings. So that would mean it would be the same scale as Jazz Inc because it was true one six scale. I've seen it, it looks like a pretty impressive piece. I don't have an interest in it because of the size of it and the price as well, $725. Um, I, I do like, I've, I've said it multiple times before, I think uh, um, Tom Holland is the best Spider-Man in my opinion. Um, I really, really like the Tom Holland movies. I think he just plays the character very well. And I really, really like Michael Keaton from ever since 1989 Batman. And I think he did a great job of the villain here. And I really like, this is one of the things, like I've, I've read the comics, I've seen that what the Vulture should look like. And it looks hilarious, but um, they didn't directly lift because it just wouldn't work. But I like the way they have like the shape of the wings. Um, is kind of that looks like like that does look like feathers so it can kind of double as wings or blades and because it cuts things with them in the movie I really really liked we have this uh, thing. It looks like it's lit up It'd be great if this actually lights up I'd imagine the mask is gonna light up and even the shape of the mask It looks like there's a little bit of a you can't see it here but If you look at close-ups from the movie It does look like a kind of a beak like it's kind of a pointy shaped mask Which is kind of cool and the eyes light up and then of course obviously the um the kind of the, the feathery looking uh, I don't know what you call it the the, the, the collar, the fur collar, it looks like feathery as well. So kind of little t tips, little things that kind of give a nod to the origins of the character in the comic without doing a direct lift because it doesn't always work. 
So um, yeah, a lot of people are going to get really excited with this. I definitely had no interest in the Toy Zero or the Eternal Toys, not because of third party, just because the wings weren't true 1-6 scale. If I was to get one, I'd get this or the Iron, um, the um, Jazz Ink one. And to be honest, I do think this is potentially going to be better. Um, I've heard that the Jazz Ink ones, you have to hold up the wings with two separate poles. So that could be a bit awkward. Um, if they come in cheaper on this, uh, this isn't going to be cheap though. I reckon you're talking vehicle prices for this. If I had to predict, I think the tumbler, what's the tumbler? The tumbler around five or six hundred dollars. Just off the top of my head, I reckon this is gonna be north of 500. I reckon this is gonna be about 650 dollars. I, I think it's gonna be a bit, I do think it's gonna be expensive. Cause think of it, you have a one six scale figure and then you have huge wings. And even if they make them lighter and out of plastic and stuff like that, like it looks like the head sculpt's gonna light up. Looks like this is gonna light up. You're probably gonna get a Michael Keaton head sculpt. Hard to say, north of 500, somewhere in between 500 and 650, I'd imagine. But anyway, this is pure speculation. I'm just guessing. I don't think it's going to be cheap. Uh, it'd be nice if these parts moved and everything lit up was USB powered, because we're all done with those batteries at this stage. But I'm interested. I'm really interested to see how they do this. Um, I'm guessing it's going to light up. Uh, like these, these, these should really turn and it should really be USB, but, but that's just pure speculation. These should be articulated, would be great. You could fold them. Um, head sculpt would be nice as well. The kind of gun that he comes with as well and some sort of a nice display stand. So I don't really have any other information. I don't know when this is due to drop because it hasn't gone up for pre-order yet. It's basically a tease at the moment. It might never happen. I'd say it will though. But um, yeah, I don't have a price. Just speculating somewhere between five and six hundred and fifty dollars. Uh, and if I was to guess, I'd say quarter two, quarter one or quarter two, 2024 or something, something like that. Uh, if the, if it goes up, provided it goes up for pre order within the next few days or weeks. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. In summary, there is another company, Hot Toys, uh, doing a 1 6 version of the Vulture. This is the first officially licensed one, you know, in 1 6 scale. I know that there's smaller scales which have officially licensed ones. Um, Iron Scavenger 725, Toy Zero, which doesn't have the true 1 6 scale wings, but I think they actually are going ahead and they said they, they, they would make them. That would be $300. The Eternal Toys is in around $200. That's pretty much it. Anyway, if you want to support the channel, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and let me know are you interested in this or not by dropping a comment. You can also follow me on Instagram and on Twitter. See you in the next one. Good luck.